Well, if you take a trip out to Warbler Ridge in Charleston, you may notice something odd near some of the trails. Newswatch's Olivia Bennett went for a walk in the woods with conservationists and learned about a project that officials say they're passionate about. If you've been hiking in Warbler Ridge recently, you might notice something weird. Some of the trees have a thin blue line around the bottom. There's a reason for that. So the Indiana bat is federally endangered, and here's a little picture of it. The first time I saw a bat was actually in Mattoon. Um, Mattoon has a lot of bats, surprisingly. Uh, just flying around, uh, they would roost in one of the trees in our yard. Uh, so if you were out around dusk, you would see them flying over our house. Warbler Ridge is making places for those bats to live. And so they're doing a tree killing routine known as hatchet girdling. Now, why would a conservation area want to kill trees? Warbler Ridge says it's for a good cause. The bats love to get up on that deceased rotting peeling bark. They love to get up underneath that and they roost and they make their homes there. I went for a ride with community engagement coordinator Taylor McLean to explore the habitat and the efforts from Warbler Ridge to save the bats. And within this habitat, there are uh, shag, bark hickory, and oak trees that we planted. The trees are small now, but McLean says that someday they will become safe spaces for the winged animals. But the star of the habitat are the bat pods, large poles with synthetic bark that bats can climb under. That's where bats hide during the day, but at night, they fly. According to the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, Indiana bats' winter habitats have been destroyed by collapse, commercialization, flooding, and vandalism. McLean says she didn't realize how special seeing such endangered animals in her own backyard during her childhood was. Bats are really cool. <laughs> and she wishes she would have studied them more closely. I, I wish about that all the time. I always think about that and would definitely go back and do that if I could.